was on fire and uh, I, my first my first thought was smoke detector because that didn't work but it, my throat was really you know burning and my eyes were burning and I woke up and I, I look around and the, I'm on the second floor and it's totally smoky and I go downstairs and a log had fallen out of our wood stove and um, this was a different period in my life where I was a little more reckless, perhaps. And uh, there was an individual <laughs> sleeping next to the burning log about an inch away from it and uh, pulled him away from the log and couldn't wake him up. And, um, but he survived. We all survived. And, uh, and I wrote this song um, because what else do you do with a situation like that? You're going to write a song about it if you can. And uh, the, the imagery kind of changed within the song. So this song is about... Um, something on fire, and it's also um, it's also a love song for me um, for the guitar as an instrument. Um, I really love guitars. I'm a total guitar nerd, um, and so it, this is a dual dual meaning song. I guess you could say it's called Barn on Fire. <laughs> Thank you. 
Did I catch a sweet banjo sound? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I that think most people you. don't agree with that, right? <laughs> but I'm a banjo player. <laughs> yeah, well, banjo on the guitar. <laughs> yeah. You gotta love it. Yeah. Right? Banjo lover? Yeah. You have one. It's like a... Rainbow <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yeah. All right, so what happens next is uh, I pick the next performer. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Who could it be? Who could it be? You're supposed to be excited or scared? Scared. Oh, okay. Do something, uh... <laughs> does not go in <laughs> there. Okay, so this song is um, from when I was on Crete. And it's in southern Greece. And um, I was there for almost at least a month and a half or so. It was really beautiful, and I fell in love with it, and so this is a, a love song. Kind of 
it's, it's a, these are strums I learned when I was a child. This is a, a Colombian folk music strum. They would do that on your children's child. Is that right? Um, when I learned how to play, it was on a speed It's a 12 string instrument with four sets of three in octaves. And that's what I learned how to play. So it was all this kind of very lingo kind of yeah. orientation. So do I get to pick who's next? And you all, if you have any things to say. How do I help right now? <laughs> Hello! <laughs> so, I, I will warn you, I've been sick for a few days, so I'm not quite sure how my voice is going to uh, show up tonight. But it's, Half off the floor. Yeah, but it did show up. Yes. Um, thank you for showing up, too. Um, so, this first song is about spring. Um, and a very long winter. About four or five years ago. And it was like one of those winters that when you went to the grocery store, you were just like, because that's really all where I got to that winter. And you were just like so thankful there was still food on the shelves. And you were still thankful that there was people there too and that we're all going to get through it together. Um, and even though we didn't know each other, the warmth of smiles and the sparkle in each other's eyes um, was, was what flamed my fire to get through winter. So, anywho, it was like uh, May 5th at 5 o'clock, and at that moment, the earth it shifted and spring finally came, so. At five, at five, she awakens. At five, at five, she is real. At five, at five, she cracks open so wide.
of Frederick, the little mouse that died. Oh, yeah. I love and that. And a bunch of time he shares with all his other little mice friends. Yeah, do you guys know that book, Frederick? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty great. Like, all the mice are really working really hard to get all of, like, you know, their ducks in a row for the winter. And Frederick's just kind of, like, hanging out. They're like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm sopping up the colors. And what are you doing? I'm sopping up the sounds. And then when they're all deep in the winter, yeah. and they're... And all the food's gone. Yeah. Frederick. Yeah. He's the man. Now it's all coming with the crew. That'd be a scene song. <laughs> five after five. <laughs> I'm curious what happens. What? They all live happily ever after. Yeah. And then next season comes. <laughs> Oh, and he still remember it all, hear it all, has it all. Yeah. Oh, does he tell stories? Yeah, they're like, Frederick, tell us, tell us about, and, you know, what you were doing when we were gathering all the nuts, you know, and he was like, tell us what you, about the sun rays that you, you know, absorbed or whatever, and he would talk about the colors of spring, of the flowers, and the warmth of the sun, and they're all in this little cave, it's all cold, and all of a sudden, the other mice start to see the sun and feel the warmth. I love it. The value of the art. Mm -hmm. Poetry. Mm -hmm. Feeling. Mm -hmm. Totally. You can't live on bread alone. Mm -hmm. You try to. You didn't even watch. Okay. You guys ready? Yes. Where's the drum roll? You already grabbed it. <laughs> I knew I already grabbed it, but I haven't had it. It's you. Is it? Yes. Cool. What's that? I know. Wish I got the tonight, buddy. All right. My name is Jason Skaggs. Um, what song? I'm gonna start off with a song. It's an old song. Um, a bluegrass band used to play it a long time ago, and anytime I revisit uh, any of those old fast-paced bluegrass songs, I, my first inclination is just to slow it down, and uh, I approach it halftime for most of them, and then I kind of see what happens, but this song is called, it's called Runaway, um, and it's about uh, this friend of mine uh, this girl, Allie, when I used to live up in Burlington, she was a really good friend, and we would just hang out, and drifted, we drifted apart at, at one point, and just one day, you know, it, it has nothing to do with the music, because the lyrics came way before, uh, but I was just thinking about the times we used to hang out with her, and then how just life kind of pushed us apart, and we were both cool with it, and it's just kind of, you know, what was happening. But I was reflecting on that, like those feelings and emotions, and for the most part, wrote these lyrics about it. as a war. 
walked right out the door.
Yes, I had to write all of them. That's kind of the point of it. Uh, I don't really You're not allowed to do covers. No. I think there is one, though, where they're going to do covers. Yeah, May 12th, the next one is yeah. all soft covers. Yeah. Uh, I don't really know where my songs come from, because I kind of feel like I write them and then slowly understand what they were about. Um, I think of myself more as a storyteller than I do as a songwriter in some ways of that. So, yeah. So I think myself think of myself as opposite of that. Really? More of a songwriter as opposed to a storyteller. Well, technically, songs are they tell a story. Yeah, Wouldn't that I, be the one you're trying to? Or? Yeah, I, I think I think more about um, the instrumentation of songs than I do. Like lyrics for me came way later. Well, I, I like kind of setting a tone for it with the music in general, mm -hmm. and then you kind of have the lyrics to go over that, totally. perform it, however it is. Do I get the pieces to all the paper, or do we already put them in there? I don't know where they went. <laughs> but it's... Oh, it's background? Yeah. Oh, okay, I guess not. So we just established, like, the round that we play in and so forth for the next couple rounds. Okay. How are you guys doing out there? Great. Right. Awesome. Right. See some familiar faces? Totally. I'm curious, Phoenix, where your name came from, because it's really neat. Oh. And I'm curious to the story. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, the first name, Phoenix, my mother, she loved tarot cards, and uh, it was her favorite card, the Phoenix. And then the Lavender Kelly, Lavender is my mother's last name, and Kelly is my father's last name. And they're actually all colors, if you think about it. And what colors? Yeah, they're all colors, if you think about it. Because Lavender is a purpley purple, and then uh, Kelly's a dark green, and Phoenix is all those orientations of fire. Mm. Yeah, that's why I wanted to know. Thank you. Yeah, good. What a colorful guy. <laughs> <laughs> One would say a colorful personality. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have to express all those things. That's right. Well, thanks for coming out, everybody. Um, it was, I was watching it, I was sitting in my office today watching it snow, and I was like, oh, man. <laughs> anyway, I'll admit, I'll admit this one thing. Once I had too much to drink. And, <laughs> and, and drove. Once. So, like about my house fire story, what do you do about these crazy experiences that you have? You write songs about them. And so this is a uh, this is a story about a drive I took, and uh, or I was part of. And um, and I lifted uh, lyrics to other songs that are interspersed within this song, so you can tell what music I was listening to, what bands were happened to be on, and in the car at the time. And uh, this is called D and D. Drinking and driving. <laughs> <laughs>
best natural voice. I don't think I've heard you sing that much before. No, no. I'm eclipsed by a, you know, several better singers than me. So. <laughs> and what? What? Who? In my house. <laughs> in my household. Yeah. You know. So yeah, I tend to lay back. So this is a great opportunity for me to say thanks, Jason. Yeah. <laughs>